Hey, good morning, everyone. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Happy Thursday. Still <laughs> an onshore breeze here. We still have red tide. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know how long I'm going to be able <coughs> to stay out here. I just wanted to give you a quick update here. A look at the beach. Again, we still have the red tide. It's pretty strong. I don't see a lot of dead fish on the beach from up here yet. <coughs> Definitely. <coughs> Getting some good whiffs of that red tide out here. You can see how high the water came up. You can see all the seaweed up here. We have had some really high tides. I don't know if that had any effects on any of the sea turtle nests or not. But it definitely looks like the tide came up over some of the nests. But I'm gonna walk down to the water. And try to walk up the beach. Again, I don't see any dead fish here. And I don't that's I don't know if they cleaned them up or if they washed back into the water or what. I do see the barge still up here on the beach. They still haven't gotten that barge off the beach. one of our park rangers up there by the barge. There's a night heron over there. Beautiful birds, the night herons. I don't know if we have any new sea turtle nests out here. I haven't spotted any yet. You see how high the tide came up. Look at that, it's, you can see the seaweed up here. It almost reached this turtle nest over here. Number 32. <coughs> Ugh. I got my face covered up here. I'm still getting some good whiffs of that red tie. It's pretty strong out here this morning. But 
again, I have not seen any dead fish on the beach. No dead fish yet. That red tide is definitely here. I can feel it in my eyes. If I uncovered my nose and mouth, that'd be gagging probably. Pretty colors in the sky. Despite the future smell of the red tide. like these turtle nests saw some water way up here on the beach hopefully they survive yep they definitely got wet what a shame what a shame I knew that was gonna happen when I was out here on Tuesday they have water came all the way up over top of these. Hopefully they weren't underwater too long. This one's getting close to hatching time, number 17. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Darn. Boy, that tide came way up. Look at that. This nest was definitely underwater here. Number 18. What a shame. It's like we got a new nest up here. That's what our rangers marking a new nest up here. That's awesome. Despite all this red tide, one of those mama sea turtles came ashore and laid eggs last night. And there you go, there's a pelican sitting out there in the water. So obviously that red tide's not affecting it. It's out there with its head in the water. Look at that. Wow. And he just ate a fish. Just caught a fish. Wow. Well, I'm really surprised that we have a new nest up there. Very surprised. That's great news, though. The ranger heads up the beach making his rounds. He's lucky he was able to see these tracks. That was a very short crawl there. You can see the crawl tracks right here. Nest number 56. Sorry about that. <laughs> A new nest, sea turtle nest number 56. They're still coming despite the red tide. Hallelujah.
That's awesome. Such good news. Look at all this seaweed that's dumped up on the beach here. A mountain of it. But no dead fish, no piles of dead fish like the last bout of red tide we had. And no seashells either this morning, so far. There's our old barge, still here. Hopefully they'll be getting that off one of these days. One of these days they'll be getting that out of here. Whoa. Tripped over a big tree root. But it's not going anywhere this time. They got it anchored to this these pine trees here. So it's definitely not going anywhere. It's gonna be here for a while, I guess, until the weather subsides. How's it going today? Wait, you just waiting for this wind to stop to pull it off? Really? How do you breathe? Man. So that's good news. They're gonna try and pull the barge off hopefully today. That's good to hear. Everybody's definitely coughing out here because of the red tide. But as you can see, well, I was going to say there's no dead fish on the beach, but son of a gun. There's one right there, sadly. One dead fish, darn it. Well, that's the first fish I've come across this morning. You know, the red tide, it doesn't necessarily hit an entire beach. It just comes in pockets. So you might see an area just littered with dead fish and then an area with nothing on it. However, I don't know, six months ago, eight months ago, we had a horrible red tide and our entire our, our entire Southwest Florida coastline almost was covered with dead fish. And that was, that was the worst red tide outbreak I've ever seen. The one prior to this one. No action yet on any of these nests. They're still in there sleeping. Getting ready to come into the world, these little baby loggerhead sea turtles. Oh, excuse me. Hopefully I won't see Roy up here. Hopefully he stayed in. There's really no reason to come to the beach. Probably not the healthiest thing right now to breathe in this air. Another dead fish. Covered in flies. So sad seeing these dead fish on the beach. So far, I've only, so this is the third fish now over here. Well, 
those two turtle nets look nice and high and dry up there. So far, so good. They've got a little ways to go. That's a recent one there. That's nest number 54. That's nest number 30 over there. We've got 56 nests now so far on the beach. We just had a successful crawl last night. We're at low tide right now. But I'm not seeing anything on the beach as far as shells. Maybe when I get up a little further here, just a little further north, we might see some shells. Thankfully, no dead sea turtles on the beach. Hallelujah for that. That was heartbreaking to see that dead sea turtle the other day. That's part of life. It's the other side of Mother Nature. That's 13. Looks like it might have hatched. There's a big depression down there. The sun's just starting to come up now over the trees. Darn onshore breeze. You can hear that wind. That's what's bringing that red tide in. I have to admit, it is not as bad as I thought it was going to be out here. It was a little stronger down at the south end when I came out onto the beach. I had to cover my face, keep my mouth and nose covered. I could feel a little burning in my eyes, but now I'm doing pretty good out here. I'm up in area four now. And I have not seen a lot of dead fish. Now a lot of them may have gotten washed back out into the water when the tide went out. There's one right there. That's a big catfish down here. That's a big old catfish. Starting to see a few shells here. Anybody with any kind of respiratory issues, I definitely recommend you don't go to the beach today. Stay home. Find something to do, some other activity. Stay away from the beach. If the wind kicks up today, that's when it will get bad again. I heard yesterday it was absolutely horrible out here at the beach. People got out of their cars, got one with, turned around and left. Another little catfish down there. I've gotten starting to get another little spit here down at the south end of area four first we had a new spit of land out there a new spit of beach up by where roy sits now we're getting another one here at the south end of area four these are good for shelling these kind of trap the shells
there are some shells down here. I just haven't spotted anything yet to pick up and talk about. There's a little fighting conch. Some interesting colors on it. A little Florida fighting conch. There's a little baby fighting conch. The size of that one. That's a little tiny baby Florida fighting conch. There's a big kitten's paw. Look at that one. That's a big kitten paw there, kitten's paw. Anything over here by the water. I can feel a little red tide in my eyes here in the wind when I turn and look out towards the Gulf. As long as I keep that wind more towards my back, I think I'm better off out here. Oh, look at that. Is it a good one? Yeah. It stopped right at the perfect spot. Look at that. A little shark eye shell. A moon shell. Great little find. Right at the bottom of my, right at my feet. Nice little shark eye. What else is buried down here? Is that a little kitten's paw? No, piece of a seashell. What else might we have down here? shell over here. Part of a worm shell. Is that a little turkey wing over there? Not yeah, part of a turkey wing. This piece of a turkey wing shell. What else do we have over here? There's a slipper shell. Or slippers. I always find lots of slippers. Another little kitten's paw. There's another kitten paw shell. Kitten's paw, kitten paw. Come on, focus. A little kitten paw. There's two different slipper shells. You see, they always, all different kinds of patterns on these slipper shells. There's two different slipper shells right here. When I turn it over, when I turn them over, see how they look like little slippers? The underside, slipper shells. Very common here. Delnor Wiggins. Well, let's move up the beach. See what else we find. Again, definitely 
Red tide is still out here. But it is not nearly, not nearly as bad as it was the last time we had it. Thank goodness. The beach is not littered with dead fish, at least here at Del Norwegians. I can't speak for other beaches. Just for what I can see here. <clears throat> Looks like Roy is at the beach. Son of a gun. I thought he would stay home today. Looks like I see him up here. I see his beach gear. We're at low tide right now how high the tide came up the other day, last night. Just a little after seven was the official low tide today. I have, I have seen some dead fish on the beach, but nothing, nothing major. A lot of these drum, seeing a lot of these drum on the beach. I believe that's a drum. I'm not a fisherman. But probably when the tide comes in, we're gonna start seeing some more fish up on the beach. That's not nice. That's not a good thing. There's a little catfish down there. Pretty sky out there this morning. Nice looking sky. It's gonna be hot today, 92. It's about 83 right now. Water temperature is around 86. Not that anybody wants to go swimming. There's a few more dead fish on the beach up here, smaller ones. A lot of catfish. A lot of catfish on the beach here. Wow, big, big, big pile of shells here in front of me. You see that? It's all shells. A lot of them are just broken shells, little bits and pieces from the waves. Still kind of hard to see with, when the full sun comes out and hits them, it's a lot easier to find the shells here. I'm gonna walk along the back side here. A lot of little catfish up here. Here's another dead catfish over here. Boy, it's really hard to see the shells there. There's so many of them. 
is like a carpet here. There's a fighting conch down there. I doubt there's anything in it. Yep, an empty shell, an empty fighting conch, Florida fighting conch. It's a nice shell though. Can be cleaned up nicely. <laughs> oh, I hate seeing these little angel fish. That's so sad. These little tiny angel fish. They're so pretty. shell <coughs> and another <coughs> another whiff of that red tide <coughs> excuse me horrible stench that's a nice little turkey wing shell though Boy, these shells are strewn all over the place here. Really hard. Looking for something here. Wow. Got some neat oyster shells out here. crown conch, one of my favorite shells. There's just a piece of a crown conch here. It's kind of neat though, you can see the inside of it. The crown conch. There you get an idea of what the colors are on a crown conch. It's just a piece of a crown conch. north up the beach over there to the right is where our friend Roy hangs out there's a neat little piece of worm rock down here our worm rock Always like picking that up and showing people. If you look close there, you can see the little worm tubes. We're still under a red tide warning here. There's definitely red tide out here in the water. Every once in a while I get a good whiff of it. You might even hear me coughing now and then. seen some dead fish on the beach so far this morning but not a lot the beach isn't covered with dead fish 
I don't know if the rangers have picked them up or if the tides have carried them out. We are at low tide right now. I can really smell it here now. There's a dead fish right there, a little catfish. Walk out onto this little sandbar real quick and see if I spot anything. Not really. <clears throat> nope. Nothing here. Thought maybe I'd find a neat shell or two out here. But no. All broken shells out here in the water. There is a lot of shells up here in Area 4. I just having a hard time seeing them. There's so many of them piled up. It's mostly all clam shells. Looks like a little scallop shell over here. A little tiny scallop. There's an olive shell. Olive in a while. That's what this one looks like. That's an olive shell. It's funny, the olive shells, when you pick them up, they're always full of sand, and other shells get trapped inside them. Beautiful shells, though, the olive shells. to the red tide. For those of you just tuning in, we are still dealing with the red tide. Well, I guess we'll go over and say hi to our friend Roy. I haven't seen him for a few days. Last time I was here on Tuesday, I came up to talk to him and I had heard he had tripped or something, cut himself up and was over getting bandaged up at the ranger station. So we'll go see how he's doing. Another whiff of that red tide. Disgusting. I 
there's a nice slipper cell down here. Slipper cell. There's a worm shell over here where I see it. A worm tip. A lot of worm tips out here. This part of the beach. Take a couple of them up and show them to you here. Thought I saw an auger shell here. And I'm just picking a couple shells up. I lost it. There was an auger here. Now I can't find it. Now these are worm tips. The tips of worm shells. Wormy tips, they call them. Fairly common here. The worm shells. And this slipper shell. I showed this already this morning, but I know there's a lot of newbies on here right now. The slipper shell. Very smooth on the outside. You flip it over. See how it kind of looks like a little slipper? A slipper shell. Then, what do we have? Oh, the top of a lightning whelk shell right there. It's the top piece top of a portion of an old lightning well. Another nice little olive shell. We saw one of those earlier. That's a nice olive there. The whole olive got the point on the end. It's a nice little olive shell. Beautiful. Over here, a little baby fighting conch shell. It's just a little baby. I saw a crown, a piece of a crown conk sticking up over here. The light was hitting it just at the right angle. Now I can't find it. There's the top of a shark eye. Shark eye shell or moon shell. looked over here and I saw a piece of what looked like a crown conch sticking up. It's just amazing how you see something and you look away and you look back and you can't find it. It's right down here somewhere. Crud. You go back over here. Oh, here's something neat. Here's a piece of a sand dollar. We have a lot of sand dollars out there. This is just a just a little sliver of a sand dollar here. Another piece of an old worn out whelk shell. This one's really worn down smooth. Where did that crown conk go? I was bent over, looking over here. That's when, it's funny, you spot something and it just disappears and blends in. There it is. It's an old crown conch. Very old crown conch. It's lost all its color. It's pretty much intact though, but it's really old. This is probably one of the shells that came up in the dredging at Wiggins Pass and got dumped out here on the beach. This is really old. Other common shells we have are the cockle shells. You find them in all different sizes here on the beach. This is a cockle shell right here. You can tell the cockles, they have those deep ridges. You find some really large ones at times, the cockle shells. There's a piece of a big one right here. There's half of a large cockle shell right there. Stand up and stretch my back out here. Give you 
you a look down the beach. Again, we still have red tide here. We're still dealing with that nasty red tide. But life goes on. You can see there's some pelicans out there in the water. I've been seeing them catching fish and eating them, so obviously they're not dying from the red tide. <clears throat> Those are brown pelicans. I'm getting closer to our friend Roy here. The sun's starting to come up, starting to really heat up the beach. I'm not gagging though from the red tide. A little cough every once in a while. But I do think it's gonna get worse later today as the wind picks up. can definitely feel it in my lungs. <clears throat> There's an old lightning whelk shell down here. This one's worn smooth, all smooth and flat. An old lightning whelk top is just worn right off. There's a little dead catfish there. Dead from the red tide. <coughs> Excuse me. There's our buddy up there, up by the trees, Roy. We'll go say hi to him here in a minute. We didn't have a red tide, it'd be beautiful out here. Look at that. Nobody out here. Everybody's smart and staying home. Just Roy and I, we're the only dum-dums out here today. But I just wanted to give you an update, let you see what the beach looks like, because I know you've been seeing and hearing all kinds of things on the news. I wanted to give you a first-hand look at what our beach at Del Nor Wiggins looks like this morning. And I was expecting much worse. I was expecting to see this beach just littered with dead fish this morning. But that's not the case. And do, do take some time to educate yourself. Take some time to Google red tide. Learn what red tide is, what causes red tide. And then we have another problem to the north of us. It's this toxic green algae. Read about that. Understand the difference between red tide and that toxic green algae. Two different animals. A lot of people make comments about red tide that are not valid. Red tide has been around forever. It's a natural occurrence. Aren't those clouds beautiful out there? Hit the live button up in the top of the screen, you'll see where I'm at. Well, let's go see our friend Roy. I hear he's I hear his harmonica in the background here. 
He's up here showboating it for me. Hey Rob, how are you doing this morning? Oh good, I didn't think you'd be out here. Oh sure, I'm always out here. Yeah. Actually, yesterday I was in the shop for fixing up my crutches. Yep, and I didn't, you weren't here yesterday. I saw you driving around in the park. I was here yesterday. And I passed you at about, oh, in the morning I, took I passed I took my big you. run, but I didn't take a plunge because of the red tide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be going out there. Hey, how about this Sunday? Are you going to join us Sunday? Uh, no, it depends on the weather. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jenny. Happy birthday to you. We're going to have a big powwow right up here yeah. by the pine tree. Well, we'll see. Yep. Around Everybody, noon or so. Everybody's a, invited to come. A lot of good chow, birthday cake. I don't know what all, singing and dancing. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it'll be nice weather and this red tide will have passed us by by then. Oh, it'll be glorious. Yeah. <laughs> nope. So That's how's everything going for you? Good, good, good. Really busy. Very busy. Oh, well, I'm happy to hear that. That's good. So what'd you do? You skinned, what'd you do? You hurt your knee the other day? Oh, I rubbed it on my crutches where those little knobs stick out for the uh, adjustment. It was, it oh. got all rusty and they scraped against my leg and I was afraid I'd get infection. So I- Oh, I thought I, you fell or something or got tangled up in one of these old bushes. Oh, no, my darn crutch rubbed against me and I, it really ripped off the skin. So I went to the shop and I ground off those Rusty things. Oh, well, they fixed them out. up for you. Nice. <laughs> <coughs> that worked out yeah, well. It's good to have friends with the shop. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> who, who the Rangers took care of that for you? That was good. Well, it was an interesting little go around. Really? Yeah. When I got there, the, the shed door was up, and there was a truck there. So I figured, well, somebody's here. Uh huh. So I went in, but they weren't there. They so weren't I figured, there. well, they're coming back any minute. So they had the grindstone there and I ground it off. <laughs> and uh, fortunately, I was just finished up and along came the ranger. Uh -oh. He says, what are you doing in here? I said, well, I'm fixing my car. He says, you can't be in this shop all by yourself. That's illegal. He, he went on and on and on about it. <laughs> so um, I pulled out and that was that. <laughs> that was that? Yeah. <laughs> Well, you got it. You got your job done. That's all I got that my job done, even though apparently I violated the regulations. Well, that's, but I didn't you did. know that. I mean, that's insurance for insurance reasons. I told the ranger. I said I didn't know that. If something happened so, to you, they'd be liable. You got to be careful. What could ever happen to me? <laughs> what could happen to you? Nothing. Nothing. You think the you're good Lord that? will, and the good Lord's watching over me. Yeah. Hey, did you see the full moon this morning? No, I didn't. Oh, it was out of this world. Really? Absolutely. Speaking of the good Lord, what made me think of it, that the big, huge full moon was setting and there was a big aura around it. The biggest aura I've ever really? seen. Beautiful kind of orangey pink aura. A big wide, not a thin ring, but a wide wow. aura around the setting full moon. I missed that. Oh, the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I didn't in my even life. look that direction. I looked the other direction this morning, and I didn't even look. Well, that with way. a huge, big white moon, and it just when it started to get near the trees to go down, I wasn't down here. I was out in front of my house because it was about oh, it was about 5:30 this morning, 5:15, 5:30 or so. And I just went out to kind of look things over, and my George, here it goes. Oh, it was gorgeous. I never seen an aura that that oh. wide and beautiful. Colored aura. Wow. I'm yeah. sorry I missed that. It was something. It's funny about those auras. It came on real intense, and then the moon got a little lower, and all of a sudden, plop, the aura was gone. Just huh. like that. Wow. It was quite a magnificent thing. Hey, why don't, so, you, play, why don't you play us another song on your harmonica? Life right? is glorious. Life isn't is. It? Uh, play us a glorious tune. Something glorious. Glorious? Yeah. <laughs> Is 
that glorious? No, that wasn't glorious. <laughs> what about the White Cliffs of Dover? Is that glorious? I don't even know that song. The White Cliffs of Dover. Well, what made me think of that, it looks like they're building another high rise up here. I see the big, oh, big really? Derek is up there and uh -oh. he's got a, something dangling something else down. Something to block our view. Well, another, I, I look on those instead of being annoyed about high rises, I look on them as the White Cliffs of Dover. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so it's kind of nice seeing the sunrise by the White Cliffs of Dover. <laughs> hey, you know the Battle Hymn of the Republic? That's the only one I could think of with glory in it. Glory, glory, hallelujah. <laughs> glory, glory, hallelujah. That's got glory yep, in it. it sure glory, does. glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. <laughs> That's the glory song for the glorious morning. My eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He has trampled on the fields where the grapes of wrath are stored. He has loosed the fateful lightning of his powerful swift sword. His truth is marching on. And there you go, Roy. Did you know the devil uh, went into church? The devil went into oh, church. Oh, and a uh -oh. big explosion of lightning and power, and he had his big trident. And everybody, the scream ran out of the church. They were all so frightened of the devil. And he walked down the aisle, way on the back, there was an old man sitting there. The old man didn't leave. The devil came up to him, he said, I am the devil incarnate. I am a, I am, I'm a full of sin. Aren't you afraid of me? And the old man, man says, why should I be? I've been married to your sister for 48 years. <laughs> oh, Roy. There's one for you. <laughs> yep, there you go. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Yeah. Well, he's talking about God the devil. I couldn't resist. There you go. No, nope, that was a good one, Roy. I, no. hadn't, I hadn't heard that one. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, ladies funny. are glorious, wonderful people, Aren't they? As, as I've said a hundred times. Oh, well, we know how you feel about the ladies. <laughs> it's obvious. Well, I mean, they're just so glorious. They, take care of their man and they have the children take care of the children and make the household i mean they're wonderful people so well, I'm we, not know. we see about. when we, a pretty lady walks by we see you spring yeah. into action here. well that's always nice too. <laughs> you come great. flying out of your chair to get a hug so <laughs> it's fun to make jokes about the ladies but the fact is they're wonderful people absolutely and i love them <laughs> we wouldn't be here without them but we still make jokes about them. <laughs> yeah. well believe me they make jokes about us too. i'm sure they uh, do you know, they got their share of them i'm us. sure there is <laughs> yeah uh, that's right uh you know of uh, uh eve eve was putzing around in, in the garden of eden uh-huh you know and she was fiddling around with the flowers and and uh, god comes along and says hi oh, eve how's everything going and Eve says, well, I, I really like this garden, Lord, but I'm so lonely. And the Lord says, well, maybe I'll make you a man. And Eve says, well, wh what's a man? And God says, well, it's a, it's a um, creature with a uh, tremendous ego and very aggressive and big and strong. He can open jars and, and he can go hunting and he's fun in bed. So Eve, <laughs> so Eve says, well, that, that, that sounds good. But God says there's only one problem. He likes to think that I made him first. Ah, <laughs> uh, good one. <laughs> well, we got a couple of laughs yep, this morning. There you go. Yep. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. <laughs> we got. We got to give us another tune on the harmonica. We got it. We got our one friend. She loves her bird. Loves the. You are my sunshine. <laughs>
Old Man River. I guess. He just keeps rolling That didn't along. sound like you are my sunshine. I know that. <laughs> was that you are my sunshine? No. I think, I that's, think what, that's what I wanted you to play. <laughs> that's what I thought it was playing, but it ended up as Old yeah. Man River. Yeah. Whatever note you start on. There you go. Perfect. I say we got a couple people here watching. I think I should turn the phone over to you. Let them at. They can say hi to you. Or shoot some hearts across the screen. Let me. Well, that's always let a me flip, <laughs> flip this around here. Get into what they call the selfie mode. And healthy selfie. Health, healthy selfie. Watch those buttons. Don't hit those buttons. Hi everybody. What a glorious, wonderful time. Well, I appreciate your watching and all those great hearts. That's awfully kind of you. I love you all. You're all beautiful people. Gary Jones, hi. Hi, Gary. Thanks, Gary. Charlene O'Connor and watching good. Joni Grammer, granddaughter, six-year-old, likes to play harmonica. Good, good. And Shane Smith. Oh, <laughs> you're awesome, Roy. Well, sweet of you, Shane. Uh, J-Mo, uh, hi. Jelmo, hi, Roy. Brenda. Hiya, Brenda, watching from Missouri. Karen Mallory, good morning. Good morning, Karen. Linda, good morning. Good morning, Linda. Oh, yeah, some guy, aren't you wonderful? Connie, hello, Roy. Kelly says, love you, Roy. Oh, thank you. Love you, too, Charlene. Hi, Charlene. Linda says, hi. Hi, Linda. Tina, keep up the great work. I don't know any great work I'm doing. God bless you, says Lee. Thanks, Lee. Bless you, too. Good morning, says Susan. Love you, Roy. Sunshine to all of us. Well, how sweet of you. Tanya says, hi, Roy. Hi, Tanya. Jim, good. Hi, Jim. Morning, Jim. Good morning. Good. Sheila. Oh, she says, Sheila says, I'm wonderful. I don't think so. Jennifer Ann says, hi, Roy. Hi, Jenny. Uh -huh. I played those songs for you. Becky, hi, Becky. Love watching you. Ann White, good morning, Roy. From Halifax. Oh, my gosh. Claudia Susan is watching. Fufu, Travino, God, good morning. Hi, good morning. Oh, Jennifer Ann, how are you? I'm doing great, Granny. Looking forward to seeing you. Your swim meet. Sharon, good. Well, hi, Roy from New York. Hey, wow, what's up from Colorado? Well, wonderful, wonderful, Roy? wonderful people. Bless you all. Bless Isn't you that all. amazing? Yeah, <laughs> Roy just is amazed at all the love he gets here, folks. He loves it. Thank you so much. What a great time. Isn't that something? Yeah. You are well well known and well loved out there. Oh, well. You're getting more famous every oh, day. Oh, I, I shouldn't. <laughs> I shouldn't. <laughs> yep. It's just you're taking my picture. You don't have anything else to take a picture of. Ah. So you take my picture. <laughs> oh, there you go. No. <laughs> you're... You're a, um, what do you call it here? A, not a fig. Oh, what do you call it? A, a rusty. A rusty. No, you're not rusty. A rusty old part of the beach. Oh, I can't like think that of old word. barge. A rusty old barge. No, that's down the beach. Yeah, it's down the beach. Now, the guy told me they were going to try and get that off today, but I saw the boat coming out. Well, but... he went out for a reconnaissance. He does it every now and then. A reconnaissance. <laughs> that's reconnaissance. important. He checks to make sure the barge is still there. And once he can see that, why well, then he turns around and goes back. Uh, well, there's a guy. They stationed a guy down there at the barge. Oh, is there a guy down there? Yep. He just sits there watching it. Well, they don't want people climbing on it. Yeah. They got it huh. tied off to the trees down there, but sure is huh. getting to be an eyesore. Well, it's way down on the beach. It doesn't bother me here. No? <laughs> One of their big old signs. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't at least get that out of here. That doesn't look hard to pull out. <laughs> I wouldn't think so. So yet the other day when I was here, there was a dead turtle up on the beach. Yeah, I saw your pictures of that. Yeah, that was sad. It was to a see big that. one. That was sad. That was one of the rarest ones of all the sea turtles too. Oh, is it a different type? You yep. mean? Yeah. Oh, how, how did you know that? Because I know what kind it was. It was it was a Kemp's Ridley, and those are the rare. They're most endangered. Kemp's Ridley. Kemp's. Kemp's. Kemp. Kemp's Ridley. 
Kemp's really. Yeah. So you're. That's that rare turtle. to even see those on our beach here. It looked uh, with the pictures. It looked kind of different from a regular yeah. turtle. It's not. It wasn't one. We usually get the big loggerheads. Yeah, the, yeah. These loggerhead. are about half the size, but they're huh. very oh, endangered. Yeah. Those Kemp's yeah. really. It's sad to see so it. Yeah, hear that. I don't know if it was up here nesting or if it just died and got washed in. Huh. Well, but yeah. Anyhow, I got to get marching down the beach. Well, it's always wonderful seeing you, Rob. Yeah, and I same here. Appreciate the opportunity to say hi, to all the wonderful Facebook friends. Bless you all. There you go. And I appreciate playing my harmonica for you. They send their love, <coughs> as always. And then. One of these days, hopefully, we'll get to meet all these people watching here at the beach. Wouldn't that be wonderful? We'll meet them one way or the other, right? Well, sw <laughs> swing around for for um, uh, Jenny's uh, birthday tomorrow. Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. That's Sunday right. at Sunday. noon for Jennifer Sunday. Ann's birthday party. Yeah, that'd be great. Up by the big pine tree. Yeah. We'll have a lot of good shots. Bring, lot bring lots time. of copies of your book with you, Roy. <laughs> people so they can buy them at the party. Uh, well, they don't have to do that. <laughs> well, people, you know, it would be an easy way for people to come find you and get a book. Well, you always keep copies with you, don't you? In the car? Yeah, I got some in the car. Yeah. <laughs> they can come out here and meet the author. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Tell us the title again. How I've Lived Healthy and Happy to Be Almost 100. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And enjoying the journey. Yep, enjoying the journey. They can get that on Amazon. All right? Yeah, it is on Amazon. Yep, they yeah. can get that on Amazon. Roy's, That's right. Roy's newest book. Well, I've been dreaming a little bit about writing another one. This one was so well received. I might, people have talked to me, I should write kind of the interesting things that have happened to me during my life. Exactly. I've had some kind of fun, interesting times. And, Absolutely. And, uh, so I could write about them in a humorous way. It could be an interesting yeah. book. You saw a lot of things change in your life. You had a lot of, <coughs> I'm sure you had a lot of interesting experiences in the Navy. Yeah, yeah, everything had interesting experiences. Experiences with your brother. I mean, yes, good old Rudy. Yeah, good times. Had some life-threatening times and yeah. did some stupid things. And well, we all do I that. Could, I could write about them all. There you go. <laughs> That's what people like to hear. They want to hear they're not the only ones that did something stupid. <laughs> well, at the time, it always sounded like a good of idea. Of course it but does. Later on, you know, hindsight is 20 Especially when you're young and you have yeah. no fear. Full of zip and energy, yeah. <laughs> And hindsight is always twenty twenty. You know? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, Roy, you have a great day. Okay. You careful of that red tide. Yeah, wonderful seeing you. Yep, always a pleasure, Roy. Yeah. Thanks for the music. Bless you. Bless All right, you. God bless. Thank you. Take care, Roy. Wonderful. Tally ho. Tally ho. <laughs> oh, our good friend, Roy. 93 years old. He was in World War II and the Korean War. Gotta love them. Well, if you're just joining, we still have red tide. We're still feeling the effects of red tide here. The beach isn't nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be this morning when I came out. I thought it was gonna be littered with dead fish this morning. I was getting messages from people on Facebook yesterday how intense the smell was out here and dead marine life. Sadly, I have seen dead fish. Here's a, here's a dead crab right here. Looks like maybe a blue crab. <coughs> you hear me coughing from the red tide. Not good to see anything dead on the beach. Always breaks my heart to see any living thing dead. A lot of shellfish are being affected by the red tide. That's the one thing they do warn, do not eat any shellfish that have been affected by the red tide. That is poisonous. It really takes its toll on shellfish for some reason. Oysters and crabs, clams. I wouldn't want to eat a fish that was swimming around in the red tide. They say, they say you can though, just Make sure you get all the, in, the insides out, the guts. 
Wash them out good and they're okay to eat. A lot of little shells on the beach. Here's a piece of a little tiny apple murex shell. That's kind of neat. Little apple murex. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Another a poor dead horseshoe crab up here. Sad to see them dead on the beach. You think those are indestructible by the looks of them. The horseshoe crabs. Another victim of the red tide. There's a nice little worm shell over here, I think. I think. Yeah, that's a nice little worm shell there. Cool. And next to it, it's like a piece of an old lightning whelk shell. tie down strap or something throw that up on the beach so it doesn't wash out into the water right. you can see these waves we have a pretty good strong onshore breeze that's what's bringing the red tide in once the wind shifts things should clear up here I have no idea when that might be happening. Now this is about as far up the beach as I'm going to go. I'm going to turn around and start walking back. Boy, piles of little worm shells down here. There's two just Two are just side by side, almost tied together. Two little worm tips. There's a nice little apple murex. I'm glad I took those extra few steps. Nice little apple murex shell. Gonna rinse the sand off it real quick. Well, that's a nice little murex. Not very big, but nice little apple murex shell. Well, something else really cool here. Give you another, just let you look at this murex for a little bit longer before I put it in my pocket. Here is something really cool. There's beauty in everything. Red tide obviously has killed a lot of fish. It's killed a lot of the catfish, the sail cats. But here is the back of the skeleton of a sail cat. Now look at this. Looks just like a, not just like, but you gotta use your, a little imagination, but it's a crucifix. See that? Inside the sail cat. Can you see the crucifix there? Isn't that cool? That is really, really neat, the crucifix. And that's the back of the skeleton of a sail cat.
Isn't that cool? See, I was going to turn around and start heading back. Look at the two neat things I found, the crucifix and that little Murex shell. Here's a live cockle shell out on the beach. Well, I don't know if it's alive. I think this poor thing has expired. I think the red tide has taken its toll on this poor cockle. I don't, uh, let me see. Yeah, it's not really moving around. I'm gonna put it back in the water though. That's sad. The cockle shell. I don't think that poor cockle made it. Sad to see that. But the circle of life, as we know, must go on. There's part of another moon shell. Just a piece of it. Just the top of the shark eye shell, the moon shell. Really cool shells. Oh, sad. Dead fish. Another dead fish up here. Ooh, beautiful. Pear whelk. Look at that. Nice pear whelk. It's got a little chip in it. I'm going to leave it here for somebody else. Pear whelk. They have the opening on the opposite side of a light as a lightning whelk. The pear whelks. They're rounder. That's a cool shell, the pear whelk. I'll leave that here for somebody else. And there's that dead catfish. Once again, another victim of the red tide. Starting to run out of beach and shells here. Tide's starting to come back in. There's a big cockle shell down here. It's a big cockle shell been around a while it's got some green algae starting to grow on it one more little pile of shells up here and take a look at real quick and then turn around Dose of that red tide there. Whew. Little kitten's paw. Cute little kitten's paw shell. Well, let's turn around and head back down the beach, back to where I started. That darn warning sign from the dredging operation over here that's washed up on the beach. Ah. We got that, and we also have one of the barges washed up on the beach here. Down to the south. Now I'm walking more into the wind. It's going to be a lot of wind noise as I'm walking back down the beach.
never know what we're gonna find here walking along the beach. Every morning it's something different. It's usually interesting things, happy things to find. That poor dead sea turtle, that was really sad the other day. Here's an old cone shell. A very, very old alphabet cone. What's left of an alphabet cone. Get some sun on it here. Very, very worn out alphabet cone. You can see a little of the color on it still, the yellow. That's an old alphabet cone. And down here, piece of a very old crown conch. Crown conch right there. Piece of one, very old crown conch. Find lots of little worm shells on the beach. Lots of these little worm shells. Another dead little fish from the red tide. It's like a little yellow tail. It's like a little baby yellow tail. Wow, here's a piece of a big moon shell. I wish I had found that. Look at that. That would have been a that shark eye would have been huge. Look at that. Inside the top of it. That would have been a great find, a shark eye that size. Wow. all these little worm shells down here. <coughs> Pardon me, that's the red tide making me cough. See the little worm shells down here? A little scallop down here, a little black scallop shell. With piles of little slipper shells out here. Little slipper shells. Piles of them. Oh, another nice worm shell over here. I don't know why I'm so fascinated with these shells, these worm shells, but there's a nice one. That's a really nice worm shell right there. Got a few of those in my pocket now this morning. So far I picked up a couple worm shells, one little shark eye moon shell, one little apple murex, one little scallop I added to my collection. Lots of little shells hidden in here, just along the surf line right now. For those of you that have just joined, yes, we do still have red tide here, unfortunately. Not a lot of dead fish on the beach. I'm not having a real hard time breathing. There are a few other people starting to show up. Looking south from North Naples. We're up in North Naples.
there's a little egg casing from a lightning whelk, I believe. An old egg casing from a lightning whelk. Little dead catfish. Dead from red tide. Big kitten's paw shell right above it. Big kitten's paw shell. Another neat looking worm shell. See you later, Roy. Had a nice little chat with Roy today. Good morning. No, no shark's teeth yet. <laughs> People find them all the time. I, I never find. I haven't found one. I keep reading. I thought you were really. We were standing on the beach one morning talking about him, and we took a few steps forward. My friend looks down and picked one up this big, that oh. big, right where we were standing. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. I was so jealous. <laughs> yep, I have. Yet to find a shark's tooth on this beach. I did, I did, I say yet. I found one, and of course I had a pair of shorts on with a hole in the pocket, and when I got home it wasn't in my pocket. So, I guess I'm not supposed to find any shark's teeth. Other people find them all over the place. Up to the north of us, up I heard at Venice Beach, they find shark's teeth all over the place, all over the beach. It might be fun to go up there and do a little shark tooth expedition one day. Shark tooth hunting expedition. Maybe go up with a few friends. I don't know if we can do a live feed up there. We'll, we could give it a shot. That's out of Southwest Florida, Venice. something I picked up earlier that was really neat. This is, you know, the, the red tide's killing a lot of fish here on the beach. I've told you that. And one of the fishes that has been killing are the channel cats, the catfish, the sail cats. Well, inside, when they decompose their skeleton, up on their back is this piece of shell. Oops, I just dropped it. Where'd it go? Oh, almost lost it. Anyway, this is the back of the sail cat, the back of its skeleton. And when you turn it over, there's a crucifix inside of it. I just think that is so neat. I wanted to share that again with everybody. I shared it a little earlier. It can use, doesn't take much imagination to see the crucifix in there. Isn't that cool? <coughs> ah, that's the red tide, folks, making me cough like that. I'm walking more into the wind now, so it's a little worse than it was earlier with the wind more towards my back. Another dead horseshoe crab, a little one. So, so sad to see all this dead stuff. <laughs> Those are so neat to see crawling around the bottom of the water. Down on the bottom. They look like little army tanks crawling along the bottom. <laughs> Way down there in the distance, you can see that barge is still just offshore of the beach here. I'm starting to see a few more fish as the tides start to come back in. Starting to bring in some more dead fish.
Excuse me. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing a lot more fish than earlier this morning. There's two catfish down here. It looks like the fish are starting to wash up on the beach now as the tide's starting to turn and come back in. Good news though, we did have a successful sea turtle crawl last night or early this morning. We're up to 56 nests on the beach now, 56 loggerhead sea turtle nests. Unfortunately, we are losing some nests on the beach because of our high tides. Turtles don't get their nest up high enough into the dune area. The waves come up and the tide comes up and it drowns the little hatchlings. We've had that happen to several nests now. Very sad. See, here's a nest that's high and dry up there in the dunes. See it up there? So far, so good. Nest number 31. That's way up there. Sadly, I think the raccoons got in there and got some of the eggs. So I can see some of the broken egg shells. Hopefully they didn't get to all of them. Here's, this is part of a turtle egg shell right there see the little bits and pieces of them down there. Hopefully the raccoons didn't get to all the eggs. That's 31. There's a big dead drum fish here on the beach. That's a pretty good sized fish. See by the size of my hand there. Poor dead drum. Oh yep. Definitely still experiencing the effects of the red tide. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Really pretty sky out here this morning. Just white clouds.
this. The water is just not looking so good though. I'm gonna take a photo, bear with me. Okay, I'm back, sorry about that. This onshore breeze, you can see these waves, that's what's bringing the red tide in. If you don't know what red tide is, take some time to Google it. We've got two things affecting our waters right now. Southwest Florida, we've got red tide. We've got toxic green algae, which has been all over the news. Please, please, please take the time to read up on the two, learn the difference between the two. They're two totally different types of animals red and the green algae. The green is far worse than the red algae, the red tide. Hey, be sure to go to nonstopnaples.com. Check out nonstopnaples.com. Download the free app. Next time you're in Naples, there's a few places you'll get some rewards and discounts at just by downloading that app. Non-stop Naples. Area 3 now, Area 3 Beach. It's walking south, Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park up in North Naples, Florida. We found a few interesting shells this morning. It wasn't a bust, it was worth coming out this morning despite the red tide much better, much, much better than I thought it was going to be out here. We are seeing dead fish. There's a little dead puffer fish. <laughs> the red tide is taking its toll on the marine life. Obviously the saddest thing I have seen so far is that sea turtle on Tuesday. That was really sad to see that on the beach. that barge. One of, the, one of the crew members from that dredging operation said he thinks they're going to try to finally get it out of here today. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. New sea turtle nest is just ahead of me up here. Nest number 56. Oh, look at the size of that poor fish. 
Wow, that thing's huge. Huge. What a shame. What a shame to see these on the beach. So sad. And there's another one. You can see it tangled up in the seaweed. So sad. Seeing all this devastation from the red tide. Huh. So, so sad. So I'm definitely seeing a lot more dead fish on my walk back here as the tide's coming in. It's bringing more fish up onto the beach, sadly. Oh, that's from all that sneezing, from all the seaweed that's washed up on the beach. Piles of it here. Look at it all. Just a, a bed of seaweed. There's our friend, the barge. Hopefully that'll be leaving soon. Looking forward to seeing that go. You got it tied off here to the tree so it doesn't drift away or do any more damage. This poor guy's got to sit out here keeping an eye on it, breathing in the red tide. <laughs> Not just dead fish, but you can see trash also comes in, soda cans. Now here's our, let's see, where's our new nest? Right around here somewhere. Sea turtle nest number 56 was right around here somewhere. Just up right at the north end of area two, right between area two and area three. There it is over here. Still see a little bit of the crawl tracks. Still see some of the tracks here on the beach. They've been pretty much run over by the rangers buggy. It wasn't a very far crawl to get up here. The water is not too far away see here at high tide she didn't she didn't have far to go at all the water when she came up was probably up here <coughs> she just crawled right up here and made her nest thank goodness they keep coming nest number 56 keep them coming girls keep them coming Always happy to see a new nest on the beach. Fifty-six. However, we have lost quite a few already. See, here's an example of one that just went underwater during the high tide, and that's not good. You can see how compact and soft flat that sand is. See the seaweed caught in the metal cage. There's a good chance those little eggs down there drowned. The little embryos, the little hatchings, hatchlings drowned. That's always sad. That always happens. The further up on the dunes they can go, they can make their nest, lay their eggs, the better off they are, the better chance of survival. 
We like to see them get up, up in the air. You can see there's one nest there, two, three, four, four nests right there. 56 in all so far, successful crawls on this beach. And the darn barge down there. <laughs> the darn old barge. Bear with me while I snap off a quick photo. Yeah, I would call that image right there, Beauty and the Beast, the turtle nest and the barge. <laughs> Almost down to where I started this morning, area one. There's, oh, sad. There's a little, I think that's a batfish down there. There's a dead batfish. Those batfish are really wild looking when you see them swimming in the water. Looking south down the beach, I can see a red, the red flag down at the first entrance to Del Norte Wiggins. They have a red flag, which means something's wrong with the water. Now it's flying because of the red tide. Big time red tide here, big time. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos. I'm sure you gotta find something you like. When you do, hit that like and share button. Let your friends know about Southwest Florida Television. It's our little beach community here. Always make sure you introduce yourself to the group when you come on. Let everybody know where you're watching from. A lot of great friendships have been made here. Right here on this, this Facebook channel, Southwest Florida Television. A lot of great friendships. Hopefully someday I'll get to see you out here at the beach. There's a piece of a pear whelk shell. What's left of the pear whelk. Not, not much left to it. An old pear whelk. Lightning whelks. Is light, there's the pear whelk. Let me get it situated here in my hand. 
repair welts and the lightning welts have the openings on the opposite side of the shell. And the pair is a little more rounded. The lightning welts a little more pointed and darker stripes on it. So that's a pair welt. Most of a pair welt. Seen a lot of these drum on the beach. These big drum fish. That is really sad. The big drums. Victims of the red tide. So so sad to see them. Always sad to see anything dead. Almost back to my starting point here, the boardwalk in area one. Gonna get down there and give you one more look up and down the beach. <coughs> Dang old red tide. This is where we sadly saw that poor dead sea turtle yesterday. It was down in this area. That was terrible. An awful sight. pan out into the gulf and then up to the north. One, <coughs> one more look around. Beautiful sky this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. Looking at a high of 92 today. That water temperature, 86 degrees. Not that I'd want to go swimming in it with the red tide, but... There are a few people out here walking the beach this morning. There's a couple ladies down there. The red tide hasn't scared everyone away. But hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take the time to check out all my photos and videos. When you find something you like, hit the share button, please. I want to get this community up to 30,000 people. We're at 21,000 now. Let's get all the way up to 30,000. Have a fantastic Thursday. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.